Good morning again from Salatna, Alaska. And this morning I have just taken some red salmon, sockeye they call it. Um, I've taken it two fillets and sliced them crossways. And I had brined them all night in about 10 hours uh, time, submerged in a bowl of brine, which is consisting of non-iodized salt and brown sugar, a certain amount of water, and uh, it's kind of like marinated in that. Sets it up for smoking. So what we're going to do is let this air dry until a uh, sort of pellicle forms on the surface of it. Right now it's just a little wet from washing because I washed the brine off. So after this sets up and we see uh, a sticky surface so that when our finger touches it and comes off it's kind of like bluey. It'll look real glazed. I have it up on racks so the air will dry under it as well as over. When we get to that point it'll be ready to put in the smoker which I have outside. We'll come back to that in a little bit. I have just a couple more pieces that I had left that I'm air drying here. I'm trying to keep everything sanitary and clean so there is no salmonella. Uh -huh. Anyway, that's what we're doing here this morning. And then I'm going to use uh, a lot of black pepper. And I got some of this smoked salmon rub here that uh, has a lot of good things in it. Probably some seasoned salt, some parsley flakes, maybe some dill flakes in it. And it should go on real nice too. And that will go on during this drying process. I'm going to sprinkle it all on, let it dry. And we shall have uh, smoked salmon probably in about eight hours after I put it in the smoker, so it's like a two-day thing here, but it's worth waiting for. We'll come back and finish this series outside on the smoker when it's ready to go in. See you then.